<laughs> All right, we not talking about anything in the tropics bringing up Hurricane Ida. Nothing like that in the Gulf. We've got Invest 90 that is moving across the Florida Peninsula, actually taking with it a lot of that heavier rainfall. Eventually, we could see something try and form out in the open Atlantic as the Invest gets into a little bit more of a hospitable environment. Gulf of Mexico very hostile to anything trying to form and it may have a window of opportunity as it does move off of the East Coast and thankfully a lot of model guidance is keeping this off of the East Coast. In fact, as you kind of see the structure of it trying to get organized, it looks like it may be battling some wind shear and dry air along the East Coast. As a matter of fact, wind shear and dry air are abundant across the Gulf of Mexico. Here is the coast of Florida and right over top of 90 is just this strong Long wind shear and dry air. If we could keep this set up all uh, summer long, we would be in great shape. Of course, that is not the case, but it'd be nice if it was. So this is kind of that elongated low that'll be moving offshore. And maybe by Thursday and into Friday, we could start to see a little bit more organization. Models are in decent agreement. We also will be watching down to the Bay of Campeche. There have been some indications of maybe a low trying to form. Doesn't look like it would impact us at all, other than the fact that this low and a developing upper high will kind of be squeezing all of that tropical moisture and surging it toward the northern Gulf Coast. Exactly where along the Gulf Coast is still yet to be seen. Now we have seen over the course of the day today, the models kind of hinting at maybe a lot of that moisture is a little more west of southeast Louisiana. Notice through our Sunday, Father's Day, which had looked to be a little bit wetter, GFS has started to back off on. Euro has never been a particularly wet model for Sunday, but it does bring in some scattered showers for Sunday and more so to our west Sunday and into Monday. So if this trend continues, then it may be that we don't see a lot of the rainfall and the bulk of it stays off to our west. Now, as of the earlier model, uh, model runs, we're looking at about three to five inches of rainfall, generally from Sunday through Tuesday. But this May, we'll watch tomorrow, could be shifted a little bit more off to our west. It'd be nice to get some cooling rainfall. We don't want to see several inches, although a few inches over the course of a few days, we would be able to match.